So hey guys, today I'm going to show you how to use MSI Afterburner. It's going to be a basic tutorial, specifically GPU fan and in-game display. So first off, I'm going to assume you already have MSI Afterburner installed. If you have it, go Google it, install it from the website. Now once you install it, you're going to start it off. I'm going to give it permission to continue. Now, what you see here is just a skin interface. I like it, this one. I like this one, the gray of the dragon. There's different kinds. Your, I think yours may be like red or green when you try it off. You could change that in the settings, but it's all the same. Now, when you try it off, you, hear, you can see here it says fan speed. So look for yours, which says fan speed. It's going to be on auto. We're going to click on auto. And then here, we you click on this, change the number. Now, depending on the game you're playing, depending on um, your in-room temperature, it's going to change the temperature of the GPU and your PC overall. Now, like where I am right now, it's, it's pretty hot. So I'll have it at around 80% fan speed. I mean, enter the number, click enter, then click the check box. Now, again, this is to your preference, except for me. I don't like having my GPU past 70 uh, from degrees Celsius, but that's just me. Um, I like having 70 and under. It's okay if it goes over 70 by a couple degrees, but again, this is only preference. So uh, I tend to start off like around 70%, 75, and then increase it. But because I know it's pretty hot right now where I live, I'm gonna have it higher. And in case if I need it to even higher, I won't have that. So that's pretty much it for when it comes to the fan speed. Now I'm going to show you for the in-game inter, um, inter, in display. And uh, for example, my have patterns running here already. And then I'm going to toggle it. And as you can see here, I have the in-game display showing me all this information. And you can see here is GPU. It's showing me my temperatures, uh, the fan speed, 80%, the core clock of the GPU, the power and everything. Memory, how much RAM I'm using, and the uh, clocking. And then my CPU cores, uh, their temps as well, and then at their clock speeds. And then more RAM, and then you know how much RAM I'm using. Oh, it's actually for the memory, for the GPU memory, not the RAM. Mistake. And then I also have for my FPS. Uh, depending on the game, like Steam, Steam does tend to show your FPS, like down here. But like you see, for Origins or other games, you may or may not have the FPS counter. You can actually activate that here. And you could, the good thing about it is you could toggle it on and off. And I will show you that. So I'm gonna go back to here. You're gonna go settings. So find the settings option, and you're gonna go monitoring. Now when, on your screen, because it's brand new, you haven't done this. Right here, this is gonna be blank. Nothing's gonna show up here. So what you gotta do is, for example, GPU temperature. You click on that. You're gonna go here where it says show on screen display. It's gonna be like exactly like this. No checkbox. You're gonna click on that, and now you have in on screen display GPU usage. Same thing. I have that for several things. I have for memory usage, core clock, memory clock, fan speed, and power. Then I have for my CPU temps, for my cores, more CPU stuff. And then I have on oh, clocks, and then a frame rate, and then I have RAM. Again, it's up to you what you want to see, but I, I have it as just these things I want to have, which I recommend because they're pretty simple and they tell you a lot of things. Now, to turn that on, I like to have a toggle. So for me, it would be control and like. So it'll be the control on the right and then pressing the up on the arrow key. And that's literally it. Uh, just have that to target on and off. You do have it, you know, permanent or high after display. So let's go back so there's okay to make sure it's permanent. Go back to paradigms and then I'm gonna toggle it on, toggle it off, toggle it on, toggle it off. So as you can see, it is there. And it's that very simple. Um, now you have your fan speed control, how you want it. Um, some people say just leave it on auto. Personally, I I wouldn't ever do that because I want to be able to control my temps because sometimes that auto feature for GPUs is not very high enough for my personal preference when it comes to GPU temperatures. So I'd rather control it. And thankfully, MSI have the burner allows me to do that. And now I've shown you how to do it. If you have any questions, just leave a comment or let me know. Maybe I'll help you out. Thanks for watching.